welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be making a version of the Airy Sun Wash Desert Hoodie for a fraction of the price. The actual hoodie is about $50 when I could use one that I have sitting around that I just don't wear that often uh, so I can transform it into something that I like. The hoodie has two high slits on either side so it's very beachy, um, comfy hoodie. So I'm going to show you guys how I made that. I made one uh, on my Instagram, I just like posted it to my stories and people were very curious how I was able to make it. I gave some detail there but that's why I decided to make a full on video step by step how I achieved the look of the Airy Sunwash Desert hoodie for half the price. So if you're interested, keep watching. So this is the hoodie in question that I'm going to transform into something I will wear more often. It's a men's hoodie from The Gap, cost about $15. Um, and I bought it in March, so a while ago. I even considered uh, returning this one, but it was a really good price. Never took off the tag. That's how much I was like probably going to return this thing. Uh, so hopefully I can make it into something more wearable for me. For this project, you are going to need a hoodie that you would like to improve upon, uh, some trim, this is cotton. Uh, it's like a twill trim. Uh, definitely some sewing pins. This is my pin cushion that I made. Uh, and some sewing scissors and a seam ripper for mistakes and of course a sewing sheet. So the first step you're going to do is to try on your hoodie. So you just wanna try on your hoodie and see where you would like your slits to hit. So I want it like right about at my waist. So I'm just gonna mark where that is with a couple of pins. Once I take it off, I'm also going to measure to make sure that those are even. And then also, you want to make sure you're on the actual side seam as close as possible. But then I determined that I'd rather it meet up with the pocket. So I'm just going to line it up with the top of the pocket, which ended up being about 10 inches from the bottom. So you're going to determine that for yourself based on your hoodie. Next, we are going to break into this bad boy. Um, so we're going to flip it inside out completely and then I'm going to use my seam ripper and undo the side seams up to that 10 inch mark. I'm going to go a little under 10 inches just to be safe. Um, you can cut it open, that's what I did on my last hoodie, but you just want to make sure that you have as much fabric to work with as possible. Um, so seam ripping is the way to go. It does take a while, uh, so I recommend sitting down with a TV show or a podcast uh, while you do this uh, and have lights on. It is definitely some eye straining work. Uh, so seam rip both sides to your desired height. So I'm just using my finger to widen the seam so you can see the teeny tiny stitches in there and then I'm using my seam ripper to pull them out. So now you can see I've lined it all up just to make sure I've uh, seam ripped enough, but you can see it's all taken apart now and it's all fairly even. If I had cut it, it comes out kind of jaggedy, so I'm glad that I did the seam ripping. So now it's time to measure and cut my trim. So next we're gonna take the trim and line it up with your piece right at the edge of the hoodie. Um, and then you definitely wanna make sure you have a little bit extra length there um, and then pin it down into place. And then we will sew along this line. Okay, so I'm just gonna sew down the side here to attach the trim to the front before we flip it onto the inside. So then I'm just going to stop just short of the top so I have maybe a quarter inch, eighth of an inch at the very top so that I can fold it under on the opposite side. So I went ahead and sewed all along the side seam here and you can see how it's now ready to be flipped to the opposite side and I have a little bit of overhang at the bottom so once I'm sewing it into the place onto the opposite side here I'm going to tuck that in so we don't have that frayed edge sticking out. Okay, so it's time for the ironing portion of the show. 
I have my sweatshirt. So again, I've just sewn it here, and now I'm just gonna flip it to the inside, and then lay it flat and iron it down. Now that I've got it ironed flat, I'm going to pin it into place, and I'm gonna fold under the top part there, and just pin it as well. So there you can see all of my pins, exactly how I do them. Now it's ready for sewing. Okay, so now I've got everything all pinned and I'm going to sew it to the inside and then we'll be done. So this is the final product. I'm really happy with how it came out. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And also give me a follow on Instagram at the Penny Reno for more sewing, DIY, home decor type projects. Thanks for watching.